All right. So it says, uh, was that verse seven? Yeah, verse seven. Because the Most High created all these things, man. You understand? Yahweh Bashmi Hashem created all these things, and you're telling you're telling him that he doesn't exist. And, and, and just because you can't see him and all these things this, this is what's raining upon the earth This kind of thinking This kind of uh, uh, MO which, which, which people use that fucking word They don't even Or acronym They don't know what the fuck it means it me, it, It's a Latin phrase Meaning me, uh, in, in common English You would call it Mode of operation Or method of operation In, in Latin you call it Modus operandi Which all is really saying all it's really saying is your pattern of how you operate, your ways of operation. And your, your people's MO is just basically, there is no MO, it's do what the fuck you want. There's no order to things. When you look at nature, there's order to things, there's order to everything. There's, you have your four seasons broken down, you have your weeks, your hours. You understand? Everything's fucking broken down. But retards... They, they, you know, this is the day and age we're living in, verse 8. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon has fallen, has fallen, that great city, right? Because what does the word Babylon mean? It means confusion. You understand? It means confusion. And it is a great city. It's a great, it's a great land because how, how is it great? Through many of the Israelites, right? Because they built up this country. You understand? They built up the whole, the whole world, you know? Um, that great city Because she made all nations Drink of the wine of the wrath Of her fornication And the point of this lesson I'm trying to get to is The majority of nations They are They're sipping that Babylon juice man And what we mean when we say that Is, is parabolic For the brothers that didn't know But people that don't know What we mean by that Is drinking that Babylon juice That wine The wine represents the philosophies Right It's all, it's all of the, uh, the doctrines And the philosophies that this nation, that America, Babylon pushes through, and if you want to name some of them, which is what, feminism, woman's liberation, right? That's not scriptural. That's man-made doctrine, right? Homosexuality, uh, sex change operations, bestiality, pedophilia, democracy, which is you don't even know the breakdown of that word, but you want to use it like it means something. Oh. <laughs> We're a democratic people. We're a democracy. Here the people say, you people don't even know the words you're using, the etymology, right? The word democracy, demo, goes back to population or people, like dem like you have a, a category of uh, sociology is called demography or demographics, where you see what kind of people live where, right? So. And crassy, that's where you get the word power or divide. So all it means is just to divide and, 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 and or conquer the people, man. That's all it means. And you, and you are divided. You have liberal and conservative. Or Republican and Democrat. Same shit. Red and blue. It's all the same shit. It's all just Masonic colors, man. And they're playing uh, <laughs> off you people. Isn't it funny that you have the police red and, red and blue? It's all Masonic codes, man. That's all it is. Um... It says uh, It says right here Verse uh, Yeah Verse 9 It says And the third angel followed them Saying with a loud voice If any man worship the beast in his image And receive his mark in his forehead Or in his hand Which is what? How do you worship that image? You're, you're, com you're completely Intertwined with this man's system Okay, because we live in the system. We operate within the matrix, so to speak, if you want to get fancy and technical. We operate within this matrix. We have to go in and now we have to check in, uh, 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 do, you know, get, get our cash, you know, get our daily bread. As the scriptures say, get our daily bread, you know, work for your fucking check or cash or whatever the fuck you get. Uh, you know, you have a car, you have to register your car, get insurance, get your fucking emissions tests and all that bullshit. <laughs> um... You get a fucking emission test for a car that's already damaging the fucking earth. That's some funny shit. But, uh, 
you know, you have to operate within this man's system. You know, you have ID, you have a social insurance number. But we're not, in, we're not politicians, man. We're not police officers. We're not, uh, you know, we're not intertwined. We're not uh, community leaders. You know what I mean? Because we, we, we understand all these things are, are, are vain. And, and they're, they're really just, uh, 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 you're trying to obstruct the prophecies because what's coming is total chaos. So what your community leader or your religious leader or your fucking, uh, you know, motivator or, 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 or group speaker or whatever the fuck title they, they want to place upon themselves, nothing is going to change the fact that this place is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. None of that's going to change it. Right? So we're not intertwined, man. We're, 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 we're operating within the boundaries and we're keeping the law of Esau to the best of our ability because it tells you uh, uh, in Romans, what, 13, be subject to the higher power. But it only goes so far to where they tell you, okay, you have to take the chip and then you have to make a choice. Are you breaking the most high's laws or are you breaking Esau's laws? That's all it comes down to. But then all these other factors, oh, I have a wife, I have kids. and That's your temptation. That's your test. There's nothing more I can tell you. Because we all have our test and, and our cross to bear. You know? There, there's no... I can't tell you one man's trial is, is heavier than the next or you should do this. And I'm telling what the scriptures... I'm not telling what you should... I'm telling what the scriptures tell you you should do. I'm not telling you, brother, you need to do this or you're, you're, not, you're, not, you're not in the camp or whatever, man. It, it, it's, it's up to you. It's your, it's your weight, man. Like, like in, uh, in Matrix Morpheus, I can only show you the door. You got to walk through it. And that's why Yahweh Shai, he's knocking at the door. You got to open the door and sup with him, man. And if you ain't supping right, you ain't supping with courtesy and respect and manners, man. He's going to kick you the fuck out. You don't have your wedding garment, he's going to throw you the fuck out. Verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, meaning his pure fucking vengeance, indignation, man. You know what the fuck that is? You people really, you people say, like the brother said uh, last week on the highways, uh... Oh, you, you, you guys are intimidation and, and you guys are scaring people. We, we are nothing. We're just a tiny particle of a reflection of the Most High. You're going to see his true fucking anger, man. His indignation. That's, that, that is unstoppable. You can't call the police. You cannot call the RCMP. You can't call the fucking NSA or the Tooth Fairy or whoever the fuck you want to call. You can't call none of those people. It's just going to be a fucking freight train coming at you. And, and those in the know, we're just hoping to get spared, man. As pertaining to Ezekiel chapter 8. What is that, verse 4? The mark. Sawa. Right? Um, right, it says, And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of the torment ascendeth up forever and ever. Ever just uh, is a Greek word meaning for a time period. Uh, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever received the mark of his name because the reason why it tells you don't worship the image meaning don't be intertwined completely within this man's system because when the chip comes you're just going to open your mouth and take it you're going to you're going to give your hands and take it there's no question it's the latest trend it's it's for security it's for it's for uh my medical uh, uh conditions it's for whatever but you're already accepting it because you're already conditioned. The men of the Lord, what the Most High is doing to, to, to the men of the Lord, Lord's will, we be those men. Um, he's conditioning your mind, man. So when these people, when this shit really kicks off, everything's fine and dandy right now, but when everything kicks off and, and it's a, uh, you know, what, what's that saying? Uh, every man for himself or, you know, every gorilla for himself, man. When that shit really kicks off, you're going to see Whose spirit? Because it's a special spirit that has to be on you. Just like it's a special spirit to actually believe that this place will melt with thermonuclear heat. That is a, that, that's called the gift of faith, as, as Apostle Gabar was, uh, says that, right? As pertaining to the scriptures. All right, and that was really the point. Uh, now I'm going to get this article. I didn't even want to really bring it out. <laughs> you know, the, the, the spirit brought a lot of information. But I'll show it anyway.